It might be dark now, but here comes the sunrise. Here comes the king of the cosmos. We're bringing it. Here comes the good feelings. <laughs> Reggie, will you join me on this journey towards happiness right now? I am I, so ready right now. I could really use a little bit of cheering. A bit of that joy. A little bit of that giraffe and these ducks. <laughs> Oh my god, what a great project. It's just jizzing sparkles and diamonds. Happiness, sunshine, rainbows, sparkles, 2019. Yeah, here we go. This is a great game to have remastered. I am completely behind this. Remaster my life. <laughs> oh my god. HD remix my soul. <laughs> Let's go. Hello wow. Prince, this is the king. Long time no see. Uh -huh. This dude's an asshole, by the way. Your dad I is realize. a piece of shit. I realize. But he comes from a good place. You Does know? he? It's a tough upbringing, man. Yo. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that the whole point of his character is that is that like you're supposed to always feel like a failure. <laughs> you're all. You're, it's that strict dad that you will never acknowledge you. And like, if he ruffles his paper and tucks his pipe up, then it's like, uh, yeah, you're doing all yeah. right. Okay. You know? Like it's one of the one of the if you have a heart to heart moment and you're like, Dad, you know, I just want to let you know that I love you, and he goes, Thanks. It's one of those kind of dads. Oh my god. You know, you get to do the look around, and that's cool. But like, look at this creepy fuck. Oh, what the fuck? Look at this shit. Hold on. Oh, back up, back up, back Hold up, back yeah, up, back yeah, yeah. up, back up. People don't know. He acts like it's like, oh, I'll, I'll see you later. But the fucking creep ass creepo king. <laughs> Being the weirdo that he is, if I may, he's peeking down on you. Fucking ceiling cat. Right? <laughs> Look at this shit. Watching you fap. <laughs> Checking out your folders, seeing what Pretend you Pretend I'm not here. Pretend right, I'm not here. <laughs> right click, save as. Oh, word. We go in there today? Look at this asshole. What? Okay, Fucking breaking everything. Just on a drunk ass bender. He's turned up right now. Why? He Why? Up. <laughs> For what reasons? Yeah, he really got smashed. He just got smashed. <laughs> and just now we're just gonna fucking be unapproving and <laughs> shitty to you as you re as you fix my mistakes the whole time. For no reason. You forgot your own planet? Oh. Really? Are you serious? <laughs> so you're not just a small, but you're a bit slow too. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Dad. As a parent, we cannot feel part we fail. Feel, but partly responsible. <sighs> this is your home planet. <laughs> the planet where you live. Here you can look at the stars, save the game, and lots of other things. You can even visit Earth and Space Mushroom. Just by hitting the L and R button. Roll up your catamaran around on Earth. Visit Space Mushroom. Complete against your cousins. That's about it, your smallness. Don't get a grip, you're absent-mindedness. Wow. <laughs> Please save the game. I love you too, Dad. Right? <laughs> oh my god. Sawadee Krab. Have you ever been to Thailand? No, not yet. It's all about kicking and Muay Thai, you know? Muay Thai, kickboxing, stereotypes! <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, once, you, once you're a king of the cosmos and you look down on a country, all you see are stereotypes. There's no time for the finer details. <laughs> Don't worry about that. So, um, Reg, I, I, I appreciate you in uh, your role as um, designated fact checker, <laughs> designated detail. Yep. I so you, appreciate you, the, the task at hand here. Yeah. You're, so basically, we're trying we're trying out a thing where I'm like, Reggie, I want you to be my CO. So Reggie's gonna be uh, pulling information when we hang out and being like, Yo, did you know? This, Did this, that, this and the stuff? next. And I'm like, that's a pretty cool fact. Like, there's no other video game that has a soundtrack even close to this. Like, there are other, like, children's games, and there are other games with happy soundtracks. But there's nothing that just matches the mood of, like, 
just upbeat joy in the same way, you know? Um, that was the task that Takahashi gave his team. He basically wanted to have a game that was fun, simple, easy to understand, and quirky as well. Quirky yeah. is a good word for this. That's exactly what he wanted, and even for the music, he was like, I'm gonna get really cool people, but I'm gonna get people that I think deserve to be on the music, on the soundtrack, on the production. Ah. And do you know who actually sings in this song? No! You don't know? Okay. Of course you've heard of You Are Shock. Oh shit! By Crystal King, right? Yes. Okay, and half of Crystal King is um, the guy that sings this song. It's uh, Masayuki Tanaka. He also sang uh, some songs for Kamen Rider and Ultraman. Oh shit! Yep, coming around yeah. the Kuga. And he did uh, and uh, Gundam themes as well. There oh, you go. Fuck. So it's this guy. And in this soundtrack for the whole game, basically um, the guy that was responsible, the head of music, is Yu Miyake. And the last time I heard of him, he was at MAGFest. Uh, 2015, he was DJing Katamari Damashi yes, song. Yes, I was there, there live yes, for that shit. Yes, DJ Yutron I, is Yu, Yu Miyake. I fucking caught that set live and it was amazing. It was great. So this guy, oh my god, uh, he met uh, Takashi uh, Keita when they were at Namco. And they were working on some really weird project where they had to make like a video for Namco and they really liked working together so Takashi was like hey you want to work with me I have this new project I need new music I want to get people that have been popular in Japanese media and music in the 70s in the ah. 80s 90s that have a bit fallen off and I want to give them a chance to come back and make tracks for this game like Quentin Tarantino straight up pulling back people <laughs> from his <laughs> movies, movies. Straight up, wow. and this is why this game is so much, so much soul, so much magic it's behind it. It's baked into the fucking, like... It's everywhere. Into the ingredients. It's freaking everywhere. A royal present for the hardworking prince. That's what we were thinking while playing catch with your presents, and it just went down to earth, it just fell. Must be around somewhere, so roll it up while you're at it. Oh. Yo, I bought you this cool shit, but I dropped I it. I dropped it. Where'd you drop it? I don't fucking know. Go pick it up, though. I love you. Go find it somewhere on this shit planet. Right. Know, just take you care want of my it. love? Go find it. The Katamari idea comes from a game that kids play in Japan. It's called ah. um, Tama Kurogoshi, I think. Okay. Which is basically rolling ball, or Odama Kurogoshi, which is big ball rolling. And what, what is it? It's basically you have a huge ball in the field or a big area, and the kids will try to roll the ball faster than the other teams on the other side. Oh. There's also variations where you have a lot of kids doing a chain, and they're all facing each other, and they have to push the ball above their heads, like just following the chain, push okay. the ball to the front of the line, and then push, pull it back and make like a relay of a sort with the ball. So ball pushing. Yeah. is like a thing that uh, existed as far as kids kids games go. Yep. And this was based on that feeling. Exactly. Okay. Interesting. It's like a contagious joy. Mouse, get things. in there. Pick up. Got him. See, despite their horrible screams, make no mistake, everything wants to be part of the growing Katamari. Yes, they all want to be one. There's a, there's a longing to be a single entity deep inside all living creatures. And we're simply fulfilling that need. Hey, what's up, lady? What you up to up there? Can we get She's a good just look minding at you? her own business. She's like really depressed, staring at the table. <laughs> Where's my life going? There's a catamari going around. No, she's asleep. No. She's, 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 not even, she's not even here for it. <laughs> Drank herself into a stupor. <laughs> oh shit, story time! Oh, bad. I want to watch that show. This was created for Katamari. Jumbo Man, he's called. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what happened? <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> and now back to down. Jumbo Man. <laughs> what are we going to tackle make now? Star 3, or we can make cancer. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> No! 
make cancer. No! <laughs> That's how this happens. <laughs> make cancer! <laughs> oh yes, we get it. It just doesn't look delicious. The sky doesn't seem yummy at all. Everyone's still hungry, yes? You can see that, can't you, silly? Speaking of delicious, crab! Oh! Reggie! <laughs> Reggie. Okay, I won't say anything. I won't say anything. No, no crab jokes. How do you feel? Okay. <laughs> we're gonna bypass that entirely. Okay. The, we're gonna bypass the obvious entirely. Okay. This catamari does not need to be rolling up on anyone's coochie right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just like... Just like, hey girl, where are you? No, 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 no. Alright, good to go. Yep. <laughs> We get the all right. Just call over the prince. How do you feel about crab as a food? Oh, I think it's really good, but it's such a bitch to eat. Thank you. It's such a bitch to eat. Like if they found a way to like squeeze the meat out, I'd be all for crab. But yeah, too much trouble. So I I went to Joe's Crab Shack with Matt and Crime Tina, and it was a good time except for the part where you eat, because god damn it, you have to work so hard to squeeze the meat out. And it's not worth it when you can taste similar, if not better, meat <laughs> elsewhere. R lobster is just big and it's just there. <laughs> lobster is easier to get the meat out as well, the flesh. You don't have to crab, fucking. It's like you don't have to suck in on battle. Suck it on it, and you know, it's not coming out. Right? And, oh my god. You don't have to fucking battle to get your to get your crab meat. Like, <laughs> I got crab bias, man. I do. Even lobster is a bitch. Crab is like ten times worse. Yeah, but okay. and like lobster, you get a big meat chunk for your trouble, so it's very worth it. Yeah. And I know there's a lot of crab fans out there that are gonna be upset, but you know what? It's good, but fuck it. But I'd also like, yeah, I'd say come fight me, but you're too busy picking the fucking crab meal <laughs> out of its shell. Once you're done picking the meal out of its shell, come then, fight me. Then come catch these hands. But you're, you're too fucking busy. <laughs> So yeah, there, this song, like, there's a guy that's singing and there's a girl that's singing. Yes. And the guy is basically like, hey, I can't sing, I don't want to sing, but if you want me to sing, I, okay, I'll try, I'll try. And the girl is... Oh, the uh, lyrics? You yeah, mean? the lyrics, yeah. Oh, really? And the girl... Yeah, Reggie, you're the best. <laughs> that's so fucking cool. <laughs> and the girl is uh, no Nobue Matsubara, and she was super popular, like, late 70s, 80s, really? late 90s. Oh, here they come, here they come. And she was singing... I got it. In this song, he's basically saying like, oh, I don't like big spaces. You know, I like tight, snug paces, you know, like yeah. next to you and sticking to people like a katamari. Yeah. And like stick your katamari on me, stick it in me, and let's spend the night together. We'll oh. do some judo and we'll let our milky love grow bigger as we stare at the moon and get drunk together. Oh, <laughs> wow. It's a really crazy song. What a good song. <laughs> That's so cool, I didn't know. The more you know. That's a good amount of crab, yo. Slightly disturbing. You can see a lot of people. Yum yum rainbow back. <laughs> They're fucking, look at them gritzing. They're gritzing all over the place. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, she feels it. Oh. Feels the cosmos. Wow. Nah, girl, it's just the MDMA kicking in. <laughs> uh, fence, fences are always amazing. Yes. Oh, yes. Fences are always great. Yo, as soon as you can get a fence, get a fence. Oh, that is such General a life advice. Wait. <laughs> by the way. Yes, build a wall. No! No? No! Oh, okay, no, no, don't. No, I'm sorry. Don't build a wall. Just buy a fence. A, buy a nice fence. <laughs> Very different. Oh, we have shit to do. Royal, Royal Puke. Ah. <laughs> Shut up, kid. Square head, motherfucker. Now, now, honey, that's nice. <laughs> Have you taken Dumb your shit. dosage for the day? <laughs> right? It's like 50% of conversations with four-year-olds. I was like, oh, I saw this today and that and this. And yeah, yeah, that's cool. Have you had your pills, honey? <laughs> Just take more. Because <laughs> that's, that's where we're fucking at. 
used to be TV, now it's pills. So sad. <laughs> uh, it's fine. <laughs> it's not fine. It's never been less fine. So this song also has a Tell good story. Tell me about this song, Reggie. <laughs> Tell me about the song it's that I love. It's so great. Okay, it, there's a bit of tragedy behind this. Okay. Okay, so uh, the singer is... And the name of the song. And yeah. Like, take us, the take name us of the through song the fucking history, bro. is Lonely Rolling Star. Lonely fucking Rolling Star. All right, yeah. and it's by Saki Kabata. Um, she was discovered in a talent search. There was this dude named, I think it's Tsunku or something, and he was in a rock band late 80s. And around the late 90s, he was like, you know what, I'm gonna have my star show search where I'm gonna just like have people do auditions and we're gonna make stars out of the winners, you know, like American Idol, like before that. Yeah, so, X Factor, etc. So he goes and there's this edition called Morning Musume Member. Yes, mor edition. Yeah, Morning Musume, yeah, yes. very famous, yeah. Yes, and it was a part of the uh, Asayam talent searches and she participated, she was one of the 16 finalists, finalists but she didn't make it. She, uh, I think, ended like fifth or fourth or something. Okay. But even then, like people noticed her and they were like, "Oh, she's she's actually You're really good, good. This yeah. uh, Saki Kabata." So she came in another talent show, like three years later, by the same company, and she was offered a few deals by different companies, and she signed with one of them. And she was supposed to have a solo career, but they didn't want her to be like an idol, so she grouped her with other people. So oh, she had a okay. little band. She was at the head of the band, but everything failed and came crashing down because the company went bankrupt. Oh. So all that went to shit. Uh, and then she was like, we're wondering what was going to happen, but another so label... She, so she wasn't billed as an idol? No, she, they didn't want her to be an idol, really. Okay. So like, she had a band, but she was supposed to have like three singles, an album, but it failed, and another label picked her up. So she released a single in 2002, and she started doing voice acting, live performances, like a lot of them do. Yeah, yeah, and she yeah. started her own podcast and gained traction, you know? Okay. So that leads all the way to 2004, and you have like uh, Katamari Damashi is like coming around, you know? Yeah. And in January 2004, one of her best friends, uh, another singer and songwriter, Shimizu Kazuhiko, died in a car accident. Oh, And fuck. she didn't do shit for the first part of the year. And the only thing that she did that year was do the recording for Lonely Rolling Star oh in God. March. Oh, shit. And that's what she came out with. And this song is basically uh, somebody that's singing to her friend, his or her friend, and it's like a sunny sky. Her heart feels light, like clear skies, and, and is, she's and looking in their the, eyes. And this is the only thing she sang. Yeah, but for, for the first half of the year, that's the only thing that she released. Holy and shit. the song is about like just being happy together, walking hand in hand and chatting, piling together and tangling each other like a calamari again. And don't stand in one place, lonely star, you know, just face forward, keep going, the star will shine like confetti again, and I'll meet you again one day. Oh. We'll meet again maybe next month or next year at the same place, oh. but don't stay in the same spot. Keep moving forward. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Keep Face rolling. forward and keep going forward. Fuck! And this is particular because you know how I told you that they picked the artists uh, for this uh, soundtrack? Yes! The lyrics for every song were written before picking the artists. So this song matches with what was happening with her. It, it was like, we wrote this song, do you want to come and perform it? And she was like, yes, I'll do it. I will do it. And Holy that was right shit. after she lost her friend. Dude. Yeah, I know, it's fucked up. It's so, it's so but sad. But here's the thing, though. I mean, I hate to be, like, thinking about things from just, like, hold on, get in there. Just the perspective of my own shit. But it's like, shit's rough, right? Shit sucks. 2018 ended on a fucking bad note. But you know what we're doing right now? We're rolling. We're still rolling. Reggie, you're here with me. We can't stop. Because I gotta keep rolling. We can't stop. And I'm you. really happy <laughs> that you agreed to do that. So thank you. I'll, I'll help you push that ball. Oh I'll my god. I'll help you push that catamari, buddy. Don't stay in one place. No. No matter how rolling. bad it fucking gets, keep on <laughs> fucking rolling. Yeah. I will admit, a good crown is like baller as fuck. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I like a good crown, Reggie. 
I don't know if yeah. you know this about me. I did not know that actually. I'm, I'm learning. Too big is, is garbage though. Like, you know like that giant ass pulp crown? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too yeah. much. That's Vicarious too much. filet day, eat my nuts. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> so you want something more like uh maybe the King Jerry Lawler or something? Something I like the simple, but like elegant, you know? A nice, <laughs> simple and elegant crown. Not the crown of thorns. It doesn't gotta be Jesus Christ oh Savior on the cross. But, you know, like, he's a fuckboy, but Joffrey, he had a nice crown. Okay, Joffrey had okay. a nice crown. Trash oh, crown. Hello. King of trash. <laughs> That's me. That's, That's your crown my right title. There. It was made for me. <laughs> no one can have it. <laughs> you ever been to the Arabian Peninsula? We haven't either. No. I didn't have to, because I learned from Malcolm X, son, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> the day is coming when the mutants will rise up in the name of Magneto. Rip Stanley. But but no, Martin Luther King says that we can have a home for the gifted mutants and we can change the world together. <laughs> Foolishness. Malcolm's like, fuck that shit. <laughs> Asteroid X. That's where we're chilling. <laughs> we have a piano, piano lesson. lesson. Let's get back to space. Oh my god. Royal Rainbow. <laughs> Typical parent. But that's what he does every night, right? He gets drunk on fucking rainbow sauce. <laughs> and then he hawks it up and sucks you in. Okay, so one, where is the president this stage? Two, how do you optimize this shit? Because this stage is so hard. Oh god. The stage is hard. Okay, so you have to be careful. Yeah, you, you can't cannot touch, shit. touch a bear. No, you cannot touch you anything that carefully. looks like a bear. You cannot touch a sticker with a bear no. on it. You gotta be you very dodge careful. Dodge that shit. This is like gonna be crazy. slow and meandering. Oh! Oh! Those are bears. Oh my god, I didn't see that. Those were bears. Fucking bullshit. Okay, so start. Yeah, okay. Avoid the vehicles and the uh, anything that's a bear. Okay, that awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that is not a bear. His asshole is firing. <laughs> Watch out for that bear. I got it, I got it, I got oh, it, I got it. Okay. Oh, Jesus, dicks. Okay, I see that bear. Okay, so there's a bear right in front. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. We got bumped into it. Uh, Are we big enough? It's so hard. It doesn't. It's so fucking. No, it's a small one, man. Oh, jeez. See, I, like, I, like, I can't. Standing still is, is no it's good. Scary. I have to know where to go. I have to know where to go. Guess it shouldn't be playing in the street, motherfucker. <laughs> you see that sign across there? That's a fucking bear sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Lies and bullshit, man. <laughs> oh, you got a brochure with a bear on it? <laughs> Fuck you. Got a flyer to go to the Okama bar? No, you cannot. The bear's there. What's up, you're missing? Mysterious twins. What's with the connection? Is it telepathy? Do they have ESP? Who the fuck knows? Shit. We've, there's, there's experiments that prove that they don't. And it's not that <laughs> mysterious, but that's not, that's, that's just, shh. don't worry about that. You know, sad story, I was supposed to have a twin. Oh, wow. Yeah, but he passed at birth, unfortunately. Whoa. I always wonder what it would be to have a twin brother. That You just casually dropped that. <laughs> That's a very casual thing to throw out there, Reggie. I'm, I'm, well, nice to meet you. I have a dead twin brother. <laughs> I'm Wow. Um, I mean... It changes a life. Like, it, yeah, I always well, wonder, like, what yeah. if, you know? I mean, the nice part is that, like, the joyous occasion of your birth is still celebrated as, like, yay. Yes, yay. You know? But, yeah, like, it's it's not something that, like, people talk about. Wow. But it's still, like, I wonder, you know, where would I be if I had, like, this sibling that was just like me? And, like, we pushed each other in life, you know? Like, I could have been a totally different person. Reggie and Leggy. <laughs> Leggy. <laughs> 67 twins. 62%. Oh, yeah. Bear pass. Yeah. Is it mysterious or normal or what? 
Real mystery is how you managed to get so few. Oh my god, the burn. What is it? Why? <laughs> Roll up more mystery. Why are you like this? All right, we'll just fucking pop it. Oh my god, so mean. Oh. What is she on now? DMT. The spirit molecule. <laughs> or oil presence. And the Czech Republic. Oh yeah. Hungary, How was that? and Austria and Germany, but oh, not shit. Poland. You did like Europe, Europe. It was a really messed up trip. It was four countries, ten days. Oh, was it like graduation? Uh, just a school trip, basically. Cool. With uh, the trivia team, because I was a nerd. You were on the trivia team? <laughs> yes, I Bro. was. <laughs> Bro, yeah, we, <laughs> the I was, more you know. I was president of anime and comic books in college. Hold up, hold up. Yo, what did my boy just say? Can somebody please rewind that? I was president of anime and comic books in college. <laughs> Your whole shit is fucked up. <laughs> but the trivia team, <laughs> wow! That's why you were coming here playing fucking HQ trivia Exposed, the other day. Yes. While I'm like Reggie, I'm talking to you about LPs. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, just give me a second, man. The like, question eleven. I'm gonna make forty-five cents. Wow! <laughs> now I get it. You're creating the lore as we speak. Assembly. Oh, shit. <laughs> We're getting big now. Everybody gathered? We have a class announcement. Bueller. Bueller. <laughs> oh, we're so well, close. we had to see it sometime. What's he gonna say? Tepid. tepid. Oh my god, that ain't hot. It's tepid. Tepid is no good for a star. <laughs> Look at But it'll do for stardust. Yo, did you see his hands? So. There's life even for the lukewarm blooded. Not that we could strictly call that life. Don't come complaining if you catch a cold sitting in that tepid hat. Well, you'll get your stardust today. Oh, Prince is so disappointed. But do a hotter job next time. Get fucked, my child. <laughs> you know. A man by the name of Jesus Christ once said that if you are hot, then you are hot. And if you are cool, then you are refreshing. But if you are lukewarm water, I will spit you out of my mouth. <laughs> oh my god. Not afraid of getting that bacon grease all over your junk? Nah, son. Oh my god. My, yo, my roommate? Okay, so uh, I used to live with a roommate whose dad was like a chef in a Chinese kitchen. Okay. Oh. And he was the most hardcore motherfucker because he got so used to working with like just hot grease all the time that his forearms were fucking dead. He had no dead. feeling in them whatsoever. Oh my God, he killed all the nervous endings? All of them, right? That's and messed this, up. He just, I mean, for whatever it was worth, like he just fucking got used to that shit. And I kind of, I, I know that experience a little bit, though, because back in the day, in Grenada, uh, I remember when I used to run around as a little, a little wooly, right, little wooly <laughs> junior, I'd be running around and uh, I, I got used to barefoot on gravel. Wow. Oh right. no, my my feet are really, really soft and yeah. sensitive. Well, everyone in North America's feet is soft and sensitive. Yeah, we're weak, we're weak. <laughs> you got you know? SARS, you got huge boots, You shoes, got all kinds of fucking... All this fancy exactly. shit. All that protection and insulation. While other people make your shoes and, and you have nothing to wear. Like, and dude, like, you see these, you see these slippers on my feet? <laughs> This is the softest it's ever been. Feel this shit. Okay, Literally. There's a lot of chicken there. Literally, yeah, I see the chickens. Feel, feel the, the fluff. Feel it. Do it. You see that shit? It is so fluffy. It has never been more comfortable. My feet are softer than ever, right? But once upon a time, you were some rough motherfucker. Hardened ass feet. Oh my god. Hardcore pipe hitting niggas, you know what I mean? Hardcore pipe hitting feet that did not give a shit. 
about any kind of gravel or rocks or terrain or turf. And that meant if you're running barefoot and you step on like even something like glass, dude, what? glass takes a second, right? If it's a flat piece. <laughs> if it's a sharp piece that's sticking up like a nail or something, yeah, you're, that's fucked, right, you're, okay. fucked, you're fucked. You're super fucked. But otherwise, but a flat you could take piece, that. You got no problems with it. Hard and that was awesome. And I didn't know at the time because I was so young that I had a superpower. <laughs> I didn't know. Hard feet. Could you, do you think that like, you could fire walk? Oh God, dude. I could do anything. <laughs> like it was amazing, you know? And, and, and all you have to do is just do it every day. It's like losing your appendix. You don't need it. Losing your hard feet. It felt good though. <laughs> it felt good to have you know, like that, that as a thing. And it's only years later I realize, I'm like, God, like now, every time I step on something, that's the problem. Is every time I step on something and it hurts. Nigga, you've gone soft. Like, you got soft, <laughs> nigga. You got soft. <laughs> F-A-W-F-T, motherfucker. Right. Real recognize real, and your shit is soft. There's only one word to describe you, and I'm gonna spell it out for you. Fruit, teenagers, containers. That's a good party. That's the smell of high school. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. The smell of a cafeteria. Like every time, I know that it's just the way to bring lunch to school, but I hated the Tupperware shit, man. Tupperware in a lunch bag, not a box, in a lunch bag, a soft lunch bag, and people would forget their shit behind all the time was so gross. <laughs> I fucking hate it, dude. The smell would be awful and it would last for years and just... What kind uh, of nasty people did you hang out with? No, no, literally just the lost and found would always have a bunch of Tupperware in it. And it was just, and, and like, I just hate that. I'm, that, I'm super anti-Tupperware now because of the smell that it would always give off from high school days. Wow. Someone would break open their Tupperware and they'd have some, some fucking durian in there or some shit. And you're just <laughs> like, really? We're doing this? Microwaving fish. We're doing this now? <laughs> it was like no, no fucking awareness for your surroundings with the shell, smell of that shit. Perk up, loser prince. Fuck. Oh, God, here we go. Oh, Speaking of track. school. Speaking Great of school, styling. we got all these little school children. Cherry fucking blossom season. Just Let's sing. go. Sing along if you know the words, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> la 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 la. Yeah, come on. La 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 la. Can you feel it now? Can uh, you feel it now? La 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 uh, la 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 la. New joint. Uh, January uh, 2019. La 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 la. This is um, DJ Khaled. <laughs> we the best. Oh my God, you're in there. <laughs> uh, uh, sing it, shit face. <laughs> Uh, un unironically though, like, I legit, like, year for years after playing this game, would just think of that song and be happy. That's nice. Like, I would just have moments where I'm just like, no, you know, in those my idle moments where you're like, I don't have my MP3 player on me, or I don't have my headphones or whatever, and I'm just playing a soundtrack in my head. Yep. I would just play la 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 la, and that would straight up, that would do me fine. Looking at people and they'd be like, what the fuck does he look that happy? Yeah, like? yeah. But you know what? <laughs> Even though these missions are challenging and it starts out in danger. See that? Wow. You start in danger. <laughs> Always worrying. It's going to be okay. Well, all we need is one cow, but it's going to be okay. Give us the largest cow you can find. It's fine. Ten minutes is all ten good. Minutes. You know why? Because it's cherry blossom sunshine time again. Let's go! <laughs> Remix! Oh, you thought it was over? You thought it was done? <laughs> Y'all think it's about we were... <laughs> no! No! You got baited. You got baited so hard. 
Look at this shit. It's tight. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Uh, <laughs> now we know. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is like the remix to Ignition, except <laughs> it's like, yo, remix to Cherry Blossom. DMX. Where my dog's at? <laughs> What happened to DMX? Well, did he go the, broke too or something? Well, the answer is is DMXinJail.com, <laughs> and uh, the answer will always surprise and shock you. <gasps> wow! Oh! 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 Yeah. Is that up. my present, Dad? Yeah, sure, whatever. Now, to be fair, this is like the eighth present he's <laughs> dropped on us. So, like, he's allowed to not care anymore if you give your kid presents that quickly, you know? Wow. Do you care about me, Daddy? I'm kind of getting spoiled. Are you honest. buying my love, Daddy? Yeah, yeah, I got a chef's hat. I got a... Oh, look at this shit! Yo, what is this? Ambush! You're in the wrong neighborhood, motherfucker. Yo, this is literally me and Grenada trying to feed my dog, <laughs> and the rats are surrounding me, and I'm fucking Tom Cruise last samurai that shit what? to try to survive to feed my fucking dog this is how it went down that's rough getting a bit of maturity in that catamaran <laughs> age that catamaran yeah. like a fine wine turtles wisdom cheese all right darker the berry the sweeter the juice <laughs> Older the berry, the sweeter the juice. Blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Mm. She black like a motherfucker too. <laughs> <laughs> there should be loads of maidens like those on Earth. Maidens, we're boy. Pick, we're picking up girls, y'all. We're rolling up girls. <laughs> on that catamaran. Yeah. Use hey. it for the crabs, now we got girls. Hey, Shade, you wanna jump in the catamaran with me? <laughs> womp womp. Let me holla, let me holla, let me holla, holla, holla. Holla for Dala. Be still my heart. The earth is full of pretty maidens. This is another lucky day for the prince. Days like this don't come along often. <laughs> You're getting lucky. Yeah. Roll up as many maiden and make a maiden rich catamaran. A beautiful constellation for a super fab pretty sky. Okay, but you gotta walk away though, because you're about to- God damn it! What? Son of God! What? Everybody, you can get the toddlers first. And okay. then work your way up to high school. Um, <laughs> and then eventually you'll get to the the OLs, you know? Yes. Give me the drunken ladies. <laughs> but you can't get there yet. You gotta earn it. Oh, you gotta, man. You gotta start with the basics. Okay. <laughs> Anyone inferring anything unpure is entirely in your own brain. Yep. And Wooly Versus will not be held responsible <laughs> for your fucked up thoughts. <laughs> We're pure. So Nothing pure. but purity in Willy Versus. Wholesome. See all that Kirby content? <laughs> Fuck out of here. Do you think the prince can get a harem? Yo, if that's not enough, you have a problem. A hundred? Like, how many did R. Kelly have? <laughs> oh, man. We kidding? We're gonna keep going back to that, aren't we? I'm sorry, man. I'm still shook. <laughs> I'm still shook. But are you shook about shit that you already knew? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we gotta be real. Like, yes, yes, who, who was it's surprised? True. It's true. If anything, you're just surprised by how bad it was, <laughs> but you already knew what was going down. Oh man, it's so sad. Let's not pretend, you know? <laughs> oh yeah, we, we were always this woke. This wokeness is now, like, like really? You knew. Oh, we God. done heard about this shit. We heard about Aaliyah. You know, know when you heard about Aaliyah? The first second she sang Age Ain't None But A Number, yeah. oh you knew God. what the fuck was going on. You're like, hmm. That's kind of creepy, but yo, let's bounce to it, though. Oh, man. Put out a hit joint. <laughs> How you get everyone off your trail? Fucking release remix to ignition. That's how. <laughs> And everyone's like, God damn, yo. Bounce, 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 bounce. Yo, I got more girls than Pokemon. <laughs> Collecting. 171. 
That's some gold and silver shit. <laughs> Warning, Reggie, you're establishing yourself as a smart guy that knows everything. Hey, I don't I don't know anything. <laughs> like, I forgot a lot of things, you know? Like, I, I studied... But people people still are in the phase of not knowing enough about you. Oh, you'll get to know me. They're filling in data, <laughs> and the data being filled what in. What does he know? Yeah, the data being filled in at the moment. Yo. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is that rolling feeling. They're screaming, but they're happy. They're very happy. <laughs> Whoa, uh, watermelon? Giant watermelon. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to go into stereotypes, but that looks like. Are a, you a fan? Yo, that's a treasure of oh, a watermelon. Okay. I don't. I don't like watermelons, so you can. You lying? Them. You can have all of them. Yeah, I know. You're right. <laughs> okay, Dave Chappelle said, if you don't like chicken and watermelon, there's something wrong with something you. Something wrong with you. And I fully agree. I, I, I'm on board with chicken. <laughs> oh my god. I'll, I'll give you that. 300 meters. Okay, we cannot mess this up. Uh, I, if you're ever interested, there's this guy uh, called Eric Singer. Okay. And he's a dialect coach. Oh, interesting. And all his content on YouTube is super interesting. He did super interesting. He did some things for uh, Wire. Wired, oh. I think, and he basically goes around. Wait, the Wire or uh, Wired? Wired, the magazine. The magazine. Oh, okay. And he basically he watches the clip and he explains how well or how poor each actor recreates the the accent in particular. Oh. So it'll be like, oh, he's going for a Cockney accent, but it's not very good because you have these palette sounds that he's not getting, and yeah. he's repeating the clips, and it's super interesting. Yeah, there was a video about uh, Kevin Spacey's accent in uh, House of Cards. That was kind of interesting as okay. well because it's it's a weird like mixture of many things, and like it doesn't it's not exactly it's not fully accurate, but it works because like it sounds like multiple things you've heard. It, it, it was a, it was an interesting study on on what he's going what he was going for. Well, not not his. I mean, uh, he tried. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, I find it really interesting. Like... I mean, I'll give it. I'll, I'll, I'll say this. Uh, Let me be frank is a clever pun for the name of the video that he made. Did you see that? No. No. no? Oh, Kevin Spacey made a video where he was acting as Frank Underwood again. Oh wow. And and, 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 and basically going like, "You never saw me die," and everyone's like, "Dude, <laughs> dude, bruh." Bruh. No. <laughs> no. And he's like, yeah. And the name of the video is Let Me Be Frank, <laughs> which is like a funny pun. And I was like, oh yeah, you thought of something there, but dude, no, like, read the room. This is where the world ends. This is where the truth of the prince's mission comes alive. And uh, there's no escaping it. Always, some motherfucker's always trying to ice skate uphill. One of the oh, greatest improvised lines of all time. Blade? Blade 1? What about it? Wesley Snipes, that's what he says right before he kills La Magra. <laughs> Some motherfuckers always try to ice skate uphill. Shit. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> the references. Yeah, it had a history on the channel. Today I learned Wesley Snipes refused to open his eyes for a shot in Blade 3, so CGI was used to open them in post. <laughs> Now that you say it, it's so much more ridiculous. Another black man that got rich and went broke. Yo. <laughs> because, he, because he thought he was better than his taxes. You can't fucking... You can't beat taxes. You can't beat taxes, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. Yo. Oh, even on the Jumbotron in this arena. You can be a daywalker. You can defeat all the vampires you want. You can play basketball you with can, Woody Harrelson. You can defeat La Magra. You cannot defeat Taxes. Hey, look, it's our old home. Hello, world. Right? Remember when you left town and everyone was like, yo, fuck that kid, he'll never You'll be never nothing. make it. You'll never be nothing? Now what happened? I bought all of you. How you like me now? <laughs> How you like me now? Now what? Success is the best revenge. <laughs> now you to the next city. Yep. Oh. Yep. The path is clear. Gojira. A legally distinct Gojira. 
Let's not, let's not. Mabi, mabi. Let's not get any lawsuits going. <laughs> Toei is litigious as fuck. Oh my god. All right, let's clean up this patch and then maybe return to the city. Oh, wow. Yeah. Whoa. There goes the home island. And the old crab mart. <laughs> Yo. 774. Goodness gracious. We've forgotten what it is to be so thrilled. The smell, the unique and indescribable fragrance of the moon. Our heart is racing. It's so good. Almost there. Plants! Industry. Nature. That's almost like a commentary. <laughs> Industry, Industry has yeah. more spot than plants. Oh, that's sad. Uh, than nature, rather. My, my, my. The Earth really does have a lot of things. We will now release the moon into the sky. Yes. Give us our tidal waves. Beautiful. We're exhausted! Yeah, yeah, I bet you are. The sky <laughs> is done. The sky is complete. Oof. We are tired. All the work we've done. Rolling a catamari is a very hard. Yeah, you would know. Right, Prince? Wasn't it hard? Wasn't it? Well... It was hard for us as well. <laughs> <laughs> to watch it from the cosmos was very hard. So good. So, so boring. Half asleep we were. Ah, we can finally go home. Finally asleep in bed. We made it. What an asshole. <laughs> Today will be a party day. No. Especially since the prince is finally two centimeters taller. We must celebrate. No! Mother, we need cake. Do you remember what happened the last time you partied? <sighs> Don't do it, Fuck Dad. shit-ass thing, Debbie. Yeah, we did it! Prince of OG! Samba time. Prince of Prince! King of Osama! King of being a king! Queen of Ohi! Queen of Queens! Yes, time to dance. All the beetles, all the mushrooms. Praise the moon. Fuck the sun. <laughs> na 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 Katamari Damashi. So good. Dinosaurs. Little petit prince planets, volcanoes. Behold creation. Not scary. <laughs> Not ominous at all, says the spaceship. Look at us go. Yes. Fuck those giraffes. Cells. Father and son. The moon. Yes. Yatta. Yattaze. So good. What a masterpiece. Yeah. So this is Bruce Springsteen, basically. <laughs> this is this is going full in. For if you were wondering, this is rock feeling right now. Yeah. Japanese rock feeling. Oh, friendship, holding hands with your cousins. Oh, we're not done yet. Use the moon. What a masterpiece we just played, Willie. You know Katamari? Um, in New York, there's actually like the Museum of Modern Arts, and there's a special there's a special collection in that museum where they put video games and influential video games that made it. And Katamari made the list yeah. of super influential Paolo. video games. Of course, it did. Everybody's happy in the Katamari. The stars are pretty. United I told you. As one. Fain. I told you. I, everybody was like, oh no, it's scary. We don't want to become the singularity. <laughs> and I'm like, that's bullshit. It's beautiful. You want to be the singularity. You just don't know it yet. That's all. You just need to understand that all together, this rolling feeling is the only thing that matters now. You have no home. Yep. You have no place to return to. 
What a game. Fucking right? This game stands with so many work, works of art, you know? Like, I actually have the list right here of games that are in that list with oh. Katamari at the Museum of Modern Art. Okay. Pac-Man. Yep. 1980, of course. Yep. Tetris. Yep. 84. Poor guy, that Russian guy, Alexei Pazitnov. He got screwed over because it was the USSR, so he got no money for it. Yep. Um, Another World, or Out of This World. Out of This World. Which is a cinematic side-scroller platformer. Yep. yep. That looks like Prince of Persia on crack. <laughs> uh, Mist. 1993, the click and po point and click. Yeah. Sim City 2000, uh, The Sims, Eve Online, Katamari Damacy, Dwarf Fortress, which was like the, a precursor of Minecraft. Yeah. Flow, the game on PlayStation where you yeah. were like that microorganism. Yeah. yeah. Portal, uh, a game called Passage. Passage, yeah. Passage. I played that as well, yeah. Cannabalt. Game. The side scroller, run, uh, infinite runner. Dude, it's games that make history. Yeah, that changed the game. That's fucking awesome. Pun intended. That's fucking awesome. Magnavox, the first video game console. Pong, Space Invaders, Asteroids, Tempest, Minecraft. Street Fighter 2 made the list. That's Snake, good. Snake, the good game shit. on Nokia phone where you have to go around. All games that influenced us That's and stayed shit. there, you know? I'm glad to have shared this rolling spirit with you. Thank you for having me. I think uh, I can say I love Katamari. We all love Katamari. You love now. Katamari, therefore, we, we love, love Katamari. <laughs> and I, I could add also. Oh my god, Reggie. That just was an ending. one last thing. <laughs> last thing. Last thing. What you you got? have to remember. In one line that I liked in We Love Katamari that Keita said, in one cutscene, the king says, don't expect another sequel. Live in the moment. This is one of life's most important lessons. That's awesome. That's fucking awesome. There you have it. Truly, the earth is full of things. <laughs>